Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a mermaid. With the mermaid, the tail can be crocheted in either direction. I'll be using colours similar to this one today. Red crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook. This one, the size is 16cm by 22.5cm or six and a quarter inches by eight and three quarter inches. This medium mermaid crocheted using four ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 millimeter hook is 11 centimeters by 15 and a half centimeters or four and a quarter inches by six inches. And this small mermaid crocheted using two ply crochet cotton and a one millimeter hook is eight and a half centimeters by 10 centimeters or three and a quarter inches by four inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today, so the size will be a little bit bigger than this one, but I'll tell you at the end of the video the size. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I've got the 208 yellow gold for the hair, the 146 vivid blue for the tail. I've got 105 bridal white for the flesh and 106 snow white. I'll only need a tiny bit of that for the flower. I've got scissors, a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends. I'll use one small white bead for the center of the flower and I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together I'll use the red to embroider on the mouth and the black and white to embroider on eyes. Now I'll start on the head. So I've got my 105, the bridal white, and I start with four chain. I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. The single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put your hook into the stitch a second from the hook and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both the loops. Then we work one double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then work one single crochet into the last stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work. We're going to work three single crochet into this first stitch here. So three single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into the next stitch. And three single crochet into the last stitch. We've got seven stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch Then we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch till the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So after our initial two single crochet, work one single crochet into each stitch till we have one stitch left. and work 
two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with two chain and turn our work. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all three loops. And we need one more half double crochet into that same stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our two half double crochet in the first, work one single crochet into each stitch till we have one stitch left. And then work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row five, we start with two chain and turn our work. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work one half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our one half double crochet in the first, work one single crochet into each stitch till we have one stitch left. and work one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row six, we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our 11 stitches. For row 7, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We're going to start decreasing now. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn 
and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. Then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have nine stitches. So after our joined single crochet, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. I've got two stitches left and I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. I'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and I'll have seven stitches. So after my joined single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch till I have two left. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's a head done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row I start with one chain and I work a single crochet into each stitch around the head. So I just find a suitable place to put my hook not too far from the edge and work a single crochet. It can be better to use a slightly smaller hook for the neatening row if you have trouble. Now I'm crocheting over the top of the tail, so I'm holding it against my work and crocheting over the top of it.
I'll just work two single crochet into that corner stitch. And when I get back to the beginning of the row, I slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For a slip stitch, I put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook and fasten off. And that's the head done. Now the hair's worked in two pieces. I've got the front of the hair and then this back part of the hair. I'll start on the front piece of the hair there. I've got my 208, the yellow gold, and I start with four chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining three chain. For row two, I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. And then I work five chain. For row 3, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining chain. And then I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. So I turn the top part of the hair around and work a single crochet into that next stitch. Now I've worked eight single crochets so far along there and I work three single crochet into that last stitch. For row four, I start with one chain and turn my work. I work two single crochet into the first stitch, then I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have 13 stitches. So after I, my initial two single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into that last stitch. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 14 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Work two single crochet into the last stitch. Now we're going to start on this first side here. So for row six, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. And then we work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For row seven, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have eight stitches. So after our joined single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two sing single crochet into the last stitch. For our weight, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. I've got two stitches left. I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row nine, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have seven stitches. So after my joined single crochet, 
one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and work a joined single crochet over our last three stitches. We put the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with this yarn at the end through all four loops. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over all the stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got five loops on the hook then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops and we fasten off. And that's the first side of the hair done. Now for this second side we join our cotton To the next stitch after our first side. So it's this stitch here and we work one chain. We work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches so not the stitch where we've joined in the next one and the following stitch and then we work one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches we should have three stitches left I'm working over the the tail for row two we start with one chain and turn our work we work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch and for row four we start with one chain and turn our work and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and that's the hair done I want it to face the other way I work one chain and I turn my work and I'm going to work my neatening row up this side first. So I work a single crochet into each stitch right around the hair. So 
also just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far from the edge and try not to pull your work too tight. And I'll be crocheting over the top of all the ends. Now I'll just continue working my neatening row and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. When we get back to the beginning of the row we work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the front of the hair. For the back of the hair, using my 208, the yellow gold, I work 16 chain. For row 1, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. I'll have 15 stitches. So I miss the first and, ha and work one single crochet into each remaining chain.
bow two, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 14 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 13 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 12 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch, work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left.
I've got two stitches left. We work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row six, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 12 stitches. For bow 7 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. Then work 1 single crochet into each stitch till we have 2 left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our 2 in the first, Work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. And then we work five chain. For bow nine, we miss the first chain and work two single crochet into each of the next three chain. So miss the first chain and two single crochet into each of the following three chain. and work one single crochet into the last chain. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch till we have three stitches left.
I've got three stitches left. I'm going to work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. And that's the first strand of hair. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. And now we work six chain. That's for the second strand of hair. For row 11, we miss the first chain and work two single crochet into each of the next three chain. So miss the first chain and work two single crochet into each of the next three chain. Then work one single crochet into each of the last two chain. And then work one single crochet into each stitch till you have three stitches left. and work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. For row 12, we start with one chain and turn, and we work one single crochet into each of the first seven stitches. And then we work seven chain. For row 13, we miss the first chain and work two single crochet into each of the next three chain. So miss the first and work two single crochet into each of the next chain.
and then work one single crochet into each remaining chain. and work one single crochet into the next stitch along the bottom there. And then work nine chain. We miss the first chain and work two single crochet into each of the next four chain. and then work one single crochet into each remaining chain. and then one single crochet in the next stitch along the bottom. And then work 11 chain. We miss the first chain and work two single crochet into each of the next five chain. and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. and one single crochet in the next stitch along the bottom. And then we work 13 chain.
we miss the first chain and work two single crochet into each of the next five chain. And then one single crochet into each chain to the end. and then work a single crochet in the next stitch along the bottom. And that's the back of the hair done, except for the neatening row. We're going to work a single crochet into each stitch around to the bottom of that first strand there. So a single crochet into each stitch around. I'll probably work a slip stitch into the last couple of stitches just before the strand but I'll continue working my single crochet around probably to about there and then I'll be back. Now I've got a few stitches left before the strand of hair. I'll work a single crochet into the next stitch and a slip stitch into each of the last two stitches. and fasten off. And that's the back of the hair done. I'll just iron it into shape before I put the mermaid together. They'll all turn back like that. Now I'll work this flower now. I've got my white, the 106, and I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you like. I like to just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook, and take the long end over the short end to make a circle. Put the yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle to make a loop and that's my magic loop. I work three chain and I'm going to work a joined treble in my circle. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a joined treble put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the circle and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two more loops. We've got two loops left on the hook. Then we put the yarn around the hook twice. 
hook into the circle and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn through two loops. Yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got three loops on our hook. Then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with our yarn through all three loops. And that's our join treble. Then we work three chain and slip stitch into the circle. And that's our first petal. We've got to work four more petals the same. So we work three chain and work a joined treble into our circle. So yarn around the hook twice, hook in to the circle and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn through two loops. Then yarn around the hook twice, hook in through the circle and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got three left on our hook, yarn around the hook and take our hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops and then we work our three chain and slip stitch into the circle. And we'll work three more petals the same, so three chain and a joined treble into our circle. And then work three chain and slip stitch into the circle. And then work three chain and work a joined treble into the circle. Work three chain and slip stitch into the circle. And we need one more petal, so we work three chain, a joined treble into the circle. Work three chain, slip stitch into the circle. I've got my five petals, so I pull my circle tight. I take hold of this tail and just ease the circle in as tight as I can. And I fasten off. And that's the flower done. I'll be back with my 105, the bridal white, and I'll work the body. Now, for the body, using my 105, the bridal white, I work six chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. I'll have five stitches. Now rows 2 to 8 are work the same. We work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. So one chain and turn and one single crochet into each stitch.
that was row 2, so rows 2 to 8 will work the same. I'm working row 3 now, one chain and turn and one single crochet into each stitch. Starting row 4, row 5 is the same. Row six, row seven. and row 8. And that's the first 8 rows done. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet in the next stitch, and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. For row 11, we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the three stitches. For row 12, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn and work a single crochet into the stitch. And for row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work a single crochet into the stitch. And fasten off. And that's the body part done. Now I'll join for the first arm. I join my 105 just before it starts bending into the top of row 10 there. and work 12 chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain.
and then I slip stitch into the body near where I joined and fasten off. Now I'll weave those ends in so it will be easier for you to see the second arm and the neatening row. Now for the second arm we join our 105, the bridal white, across from the top of the first arm. So this stitch here and work 12 chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. and then slip stitch into the side of the body and that's the two arms done for the neatening row we work one single crochet into each stitch down this side Into the corner stitch work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then work a single crochet into each stitch along the bottom to the corner stitch. Into the corner stitch work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. and then work one single crochet into each stitch up to the arm Then we work one slip stitch into each stitch up to the end of the arm.
I'm at the end of the arm. I'm going to work a hand now. I work two chain. Then I work a joined half double crochet into the end there. I put the yarn around my hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into that same stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then I work two chain and slip stitch into that same stitch. Then I work one slip stitch into each stitch down the top of the arm. I work one slip stitch into each stitch up around the neck and then back down the other side of the neck and along the top of the arm until I reach the end of the arm. Into the end of the arm I work another hand. I worked two chain and a joined half double crochet into that same stitch. So I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into that same stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then work two chain and slip stitch in that same stitch and then work one slip stitch into each stitch down the bottom of the arm. and then slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And that's the body and arms done. When I weave in the ends I'll pull those arms in a bit 
so I'll weave it in just between the body and the arm a couple of stitches. Now for the bra I work that in two pieces, they both work the same. I've got my 146 of Vivid Blue and I make a magic loop. I work 5 chain and slip stitch into my circle. And I repeat that two more times. Five chain and slip stitch into the circle. And five chain and slip stitch into the circle. Then I pull the circle tight and fasten off. And when I weave in the ends, I weave the pieces together a little bit to make it look like that. Now the next piece is work the same. We start with a magic loop. and work 5 chain and slip stitch into the circle then work 5 chain and slip stitch into the circle and work 5 chain and slip stitch into the circle. We pull the circle tight and fasten off. And that's the second bra piece done. We'll start on the tail now. We start at the top part and I've got my 146 of Vivid Blue and I start with 10 chain For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. I'll have nine stitches. For row 2, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 9 stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 
to single crochet into the first stitch then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have nine stitches so after our first two single crochet work one single crochet into each stitch till you have two stitches left and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches for row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 9 stitches For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, then we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches, we'll work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 9 stitches. So after our initial 2 single crochet work one single crochet into each stitch till you have two stitches left and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of our 9 stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, then we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches, we'll work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 9 stitches. So I've worked my first 2 single crochet and then I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For our weight we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So after our joined single crochet work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. And then we work 10 chain. That's for the bendy part of the tail. For row 9, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each chain and then each of our stitches to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 17 stitches. So we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. Then work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. and work a joined single crochet over our last two stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. We'll have 15 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, work one single crochet into each stitch till you have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into the next stitch. We work one half double crochet into each of the following three stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. You put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. So I need a half double crochet into each of the next two as well. So three half double crochet. Then I work one double crochet into each of the following three stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. You put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, 
hook with the yarn through the next two loops and then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches as well. Then we need one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And we fasten off. And that's the tail part done. I'll work these tips of the tail next. For the first tip I've got my 146 the vivid blue and I make a magic loop. I work one chain and work one single crochet into my circle and pull the circle tight. For row two I start with one chain and turn my work and I work three single crochet into that stitch. For row three, I start with one chain and turn my work. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four I start with one chain and turn my work. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row five I start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the three stitches. So I put my hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into that last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take my hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For row six I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. Now that's the tip of the tail done. We'll join it to our tail now. So we join it just into this stitch here, at the end there's a little slope in. So join it with a slip stitch just in that little slope and then slip stitch into the next stitch. There with the slope. And work one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain. That's for the beginning of the next tip of the tail. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work and we work three single crochet into our single crochet in the last row. For row three we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. And two single crochet into the last stitch. For 
For row 4, we start with one chain and turn our work and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5, we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the three stitches. For row 6, we start with one chain and turn and work a single crochet into the stitch. And that's the tail done. The tail can face either way. We, for the neatening row, we start with one chain and I'll have mine facing the same way as this tail. So I'm going to start by working one slip stitch into each stitch down this last tail part. If you wanted it facing the other way, you'd work your slip stitch around these two. So I'll work one slip stitch into each stitch down this tail part. And then I slip stitch into the bottom of the tail and I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch up around the tail till I get to the top. I'm going to work this little edging along the top. So one single crochet into each stitch till I get to the top of the tail. And if you were working the other way, you'd do the same. You'd slip stitch around the tip of the tail and then work a single crochet up the side to the top. Once I get to the top, I work one chain and 
work one single crochet into that same stitch and then I'm going to work two chain and a single crochet into the next stitch and I'll repeat that across two chain and single crochet into the next stitch and two chain and single crochet into the next stitch right across the top of the tail I've worked along the top and I'll work one chain and work a single crochet into the same stitch and then I work a single crochet into each stitch down the side till I reach the tip of the tail. and then slip stitch into the bottom of the tip of the tail and then we're going to work one slip stitch into each stitch around to the beginning of the row
I'm just working up the last tip. Once I get back to the tip of the first one, I fasten off. Now that's the tail finished and all my pieces worked. So I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's all the pieces. I've got the back of the hair, the front of the hair, the two bra pieces, the head, the tail, the body and the flower. The first things I'll do is attach the body to the tail just in like that and I'll embroider on a mouth on the head. The next thing I'll do is embroider on the eyes a couple of rows up from the mouth and I'll attach the bra pieces. They go Just, just in there. The next thing I do is attach the head to the neck there. Just in like that. Next we attach the head to the back of the hair. So just in about there. The head goes higher than the back of the hair and we've got some hair around the edge of the head. So in about there. The next thing I'll do is attach the top of the hair over the head. This end here goes to the side of the hair there and this side will go close to that eye and evenly with that other side. So in there and the last thing I do is attach the flower to the hair, just in about there. I'll attach it with a bead. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished mermaid. And there's the finished mermaid. The size is 13 centimetres by 18 centimetres or 5 inches by 7 inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.